I finally finished my cable spool coffee table for the house. This one's about 27 inch diameter. I installed a dill on it, used my router to route out the hole so I can take it in and take it out. I also put in a hammock and I built a floor into it to use as a shelf too. It works out perfectly as the hammock's adjustable. I used my router to cut the hole so that disco ball can come in and out so I don't have to leave it in there. I bought some 8 inch metal T hinges and bent them so they match the curve and it worked out perfectly. And then I installed a knob and I installed a magnetic lock on it too. It's pretty cool. Alright, check out some of the work we did to get these made. like a bar table maybe for outside or inside depends on uh, what we do with it and later we're gonna do that one we did a lot of sanding to get this ready we used a uh, GI plastic varnish in the oak color but before that we applied a sanding sealer so sanding sealer first then we mixed a little bit of paint thinner with the oak and put on our first coat here it's a lot easier once we took it apart i was able to use my planer to get everything smoothed down and then we sanded everything again just to make it even smoother it's a good project and fun to do too
decided to do the inside parts too. These are the slats that'll go in the, or actually the, two, the slats that'll go in between the two top pieces. Not gonna sand them, just going to put what? sander, what's this stuff called? Sander sealer, and then the varnish on it, and that's it. Wanna keep them rough looking. Here's what this looks like after one coat. We'll probably put three coats on this all together. Trying to get a nice oak look from what are probably pine boards. And uh, we're gonna double this up and make a stand-up bar next. After we finish our table, we'll probably put this one inside the kitchen. Teach your wife a skill, guys. <laughs> Good job, baby. So easy, she says. See that? My number one helper. Here's my other table project I was working on. This is from a 42 inch spool. Maybe 41, 41 or 42 inch spool. The smaller one that's a coffee table in the house, that's like a 27 inch round spool. What I did with this one is I did an oak varnish on it. Here's the kind of plastic varnish that you can buy. This one's walnut. I decided not to use this because this color is too dark. So I ended up using a uh, natural on the table inside and oak on this. Same thing, I have about five coats. The more coats you put on it, the darker it is. The cool thing about this table is I use my router, cut out a big hole right here, and I can just pop out, and I can just pop this out. So inside I usually put a speaker in there. You can see there's spaces in between each one of the slats. So I have a portable Bluetooth speaker that I put in there, and uh, with the slats open like that, it actually makes a really good sound. The speaker sounds really good inside of here, and I just put it in. Now, this is actually a double dish. So I can have one dish only and fill that up with ice. That's good for holding maybe six or seven beers. If I want to, I can use this as insulation. When I put ice in just this one, now that bottom one acts as an insulator, and I don't get any condensation dripping down into the table. So there it is. This is my bigger spool project. I use this for outside. We've got a nice area to sit down outside and I'm just now finishing it up and getting it ready. Like I said, if you like that color, that's a uh, oak and the plastic varnish that they sell here in the Philippines. Here's one more thing I did with this table because this spool is a lot bigger and heavier. I put wheels on it. This thing can easily roll around, check it out. So I just happened to have some wheels. I just mounted these uh, caster wheels. I can't remember where they came off of. I think I made a cart a long time ago and I remembered that I had them sitting around. So instead of grinding off these and then putting special feet on them, I just decided to put wheels on them because this is outside and I'm gonna be moving this around a lot. So there it is, an easy project you can do with the cable spool. And once again, I did this in oak. Looks pretty good. I just finished making my coffee table for the living room. I got my hinges in from the Zada. I ordered these eight inch hinges and I've got everything all set up now. Check it out. I've got a disco ball in the center. This is the coolest part, of course. Use your remote control for only 199 pesos on the Zada. You hit your on button and you got instant disco party in the house. And of course this can be taken out too. You don't need to have this in here. This can come out. I made it so you just unscrew the screws on the side here and it'll slide right through the hole down there. But it's a nice centerpiece. What I did here is I bought some hinges and then I bent them so they fit the shape. These are eight inch T hinges. Then I got a knob here for opening it. And then I just mounted a magnetic lock on it. Check it out. Now that's pretty cool. It actually works pretty good. Did some other things. If you've seen a wire spool before, you'll know that uh, the bottom's really dirty inside of them. So I actually made a shelf down there at the bottom. And then I made another shelf here. So I got some canvas, sewed it, and then used, uh, what did I use, paracord to tie it. So now I've got a little hammock. Put all your remote controls inside of here, and it's adjustable. So because I tied it with paracord, it's adjustable. I can move it up and down. So I've got the bottom shelf and that shelf here. Everything's varnished with plastic varnish. The same kind of varnish that you find in the Philippines at your local hardware store. 
and it's the natural varnish. You can see on the other part of the video where all these right here, we took down all the nails and tapped them down. That way we can uh, fill them up with wood putty so we don't have any sharp edges. And I probably got about five coats of plastic varnish on it. So it's nice and smooth, no rough edges. Check out the bottom. I've got the cord running through one of the cracks here and I actually uh, routed out that little hole right there so the cord goes in. And what I did on the bottom, I cut off the bolts that were sticking out too far here. I put rubber feet on here. These are like rubber caps you can buy to put on the bottom of your furniture. And then I put felt feet on that. That way it doesn't ruin the finish of my floor. So pretty cool. Yeah, all these marks, this is when I was grinding down, <laughs> grinding down the rubber and or grinding down the bolts, but it's on the bottom, so I don't care. I can wipe it off or clean it if I want to. So there you have it. That's the party disco table. Throw yourself a microphone in there. Get your karaoke setup ready. You're all set to go.